me and P have constantly our bonding moment of hating organic, but I like organic is bugs. Yeah. So this could be that one thing where I pretty much have a sterile organic grow. So, you know, I could see this being the future. Let's see by next year that being it, but I'm still not sold on under canopy lighting. Vivo Sun's got a new one coming out that's commercial grade for their own setup. I still wasn't like, oh man, uh, the one, like half of the grows there had them. We were looking at one, I think it was me and Troy were looking at one, and it was massive. And then they had a huge light that was like a 10 by 10 foot light. And I still just was like, yeah, there, there was a lot of under canopy lighting yeah, this year. That was the main push. It, it was, seemed, man. Because so they're like, this is the future. We all got to get on board. And they all had different parameters that made one more unique than the other. But yeah. nobody really said the, the price point. And they just said how much better your plant will be, more yield you'll get. And I got to be honest with you. I, I, I think it's snake oil when it comes to the under canopy lighting. I'll say it. I just don't think with particularly your training style, my training style, the majority of training styles removes the bottom two thirds of the plant. So if you're if under lighting canopy, what are you missing on the above canopy lighting that you're supplementing underneath? I'm not talking supplemental. You adding UVB, UV, UVC, is that what you called it? UVC. Um, I, I think that's beneficial. I think that's beneficial and the science proves that, but I don't think under canopy lighting is necessary for the majority of consumers. Of home like growers. home growers, home growers, yeah. yeah. On home the commercial growers. side of things, you think it's beneficial and home growers. Well, no. you know, even like in the commercial facilities I've been in, a l- lot of these plants are really tall. Um, th- like I, there are buds in the lower sections of the plant, so yeah, having some kind of supplemental in the lighting underneath in a commercial setting might be a little more appealing. I see a lot of the schwazing technique in in the um, commercial setting that's stripping all the leaves off the plants. So I'm not even sure if the supplemental or uh, the the under canopy lighting is really doing anything because there's no leaves blocking that 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 light cut from the can. You know what I'm saying? I think that where the the argument would be is those who have the A bud and B buds and smalls. So then if you don't have smalls and all you have is A buds, the price per pound for you is better. So then they would say, you know, this is where I'm getting more from the same thing, and the, the addition of it makes sense. But my A buds are the same buds as my F buds. Like I'm, I don't know. It doesn't make a huge difference to me. And if you're Troy, you're washing most of it anyway. Yeah. So it's like, do I need bigger, denser, prettier buds? And is it going to really yield me that much more to offset the expense of using it more? Because this isn't a couple hour light a day. This is running with your other lights. Exactly, yeah. Or the initial investment of it. You know, you're looking at a facility of 50,000 square feet and you're going to outfit that all. This is an expensive investment, you know? I just think that once there's enough competition, like maybe we're seeing now, the price point will be just like other lights. Because why would one bar be more expensive than a eight bar system, you know, just cause it's trendy and new and guaranteed more yield. Nope. Know? I like, I, in my opinion, the lighting industry has got to the price point max. Like, what are you offering me? What, like I, the, the power of these lights are already way more than I need as a home grower. So again, I just, at, at what point can we add more to these lights to make them more expensive? I'm not sure yeah same here man there's like but like you know with life everything's changing so much and something comes out with something different that you ne- we never thought of and like that is the cool thing about this industry is that things keep on changing so i'm excited to see what else is going to come from everything that's kind of blowing up and if you just walk in those like expedi- or expos you'll see like the washing machines out there the rolling machines everything is just be- every year it changes and like just advances so it's pretty crazy what's happening in the industry actually even the fact that we just see the introduction of ipm in lighting yeah. i didn't think there'd be a day I, like that's i wouldn't have fathomed that yeah. thought of a lot of things but that's not one of them that's yeah. why i stopped quickly at that booth right away i mean of course envy closet med grower, grower and spartan were there but yeah. and Florida i saw there. that yeah, yeah i saw that that picture with the light and saying for ipm i was like what the hell is that mm-hmm. and that was the argument that gml had with me on instagram when he was very polite um and he was explaining how it's ipm and i'm like how the hell's under canopy lighting ipm now i see it's a different type of lighting that's mm-hmm. doing it so is it is it the spectrum it's uvc is harmful it's very harmful for you're not even supposed well. to be near the i wonder if it's like, harmful for us yeah the guy it said is, that yeah, when you yeah, run it you don't sure. want to be near it yeah, like you don't you want to reach your hand in and start working underneath you, the screen. When, yeah, you may, don't even want it in the same room. That's for somebody who's growing in That's kind bedroom. of scary, man. It is very scary. And that's the same thing as using hazardous chemicals to right. keep your plant safe, too. You know, depending if you're an organic grower, maybe this isn't it for you. 
But if you have a space like yours where it's not where you're sleeping, yeah, it's like you know I'll have this on an automated thing that'll pop in for thirty minutes in the evening. Yeah, and I'm a lot of the things used in like UVC is also using like as like a disinfectant as like I have one inside my air purifier, right? So they have a UV. They're gonna kill off all those harmful pathogens, microbes, viruses, all that mm. stuff. So that technology is used there as well. Yeah, those uh, AC Infinity water bottles we got have a UVC thing. Does it? Yeah, it Do goes they? off to sterilize in there. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. And, oh, wow. and, and the thing is, it's like we use harmful things all the time. It's not like this is new. It's not like what we do is can't, is the safest thing. We used thing. harmful things this weekend. Yeah, but not, right. not things that kills bugs and well, gives them cancer. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Actually, we do actually, use harmful things, but that's disagree. something different. Uh, <laughs> neem oil it, it is actually an organic product that, if used incorrectly, can be very hazardous to the human health. And, and we can't get it in Canada, right? I, you can. Yeah, oh, you can. I have not never been able to find I've it. I've got it. No, I've got it. He's well. got it. He's the plug. You, you have to get it. As, you have to <laughs> I got it, it, boy. You have to order it as an essential oil. And not as a pest management. Ah, uh, so okay. Yeah, use use is everything. Yes, use is everything. Athena has some really good stuff too, man. Won't, yeah, won't be able to get. It. It. Won't no. be able to get. I it. have it. Yeah, oh, they send oh, it in Canada. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. In Canada, they have one that's called IPW. Yeah, IPW. Okay. Oh, okay. That's okay. the Canada version. IPM. And it works it amazing up. for like fungus mm -hmm. gnats. I just find, <laughs> I just find most of the time a lot of these products are just neem oil, just with a proprietary There's are mix. different yeah. they've got a variety of essential oils in there too and majority of these companies do and it's like the ratios they're using of course and of it's course. just easier to do just like a, uh, i can use a bottle of nutrients or i can use a variety of different inputs to make my organic soil you know i think it's depending on what you want to do that's i think the argument for these lighting things it's like well i can do five other things that'll get me this better yield i'll low stress train i'll put it in the, the trellis and scrog net it i'll do different things to get the same effect i'll get from that so is adding it that much worth it? It's again, get to can control, get by this and that. You can do alternatives or you can make it easy and spend money and do that. I think that's the biggest argument mm -hmm. because this isn't that big of a game changer that I couldn't have had IPM before. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> Where do we go with lighting from like from here? Where do you think we go? I, I, I'm cynical. You know, you were kind of optimistic in regards to technology always change, changing. I didn't see IPM being added into the light game. Where do you think we go from here? I think uh, party lights are gonna have strobe lights and bangers in the plants. Are gonna <laughs> nice yeah. yeah, little Shania Twain yeah. man from the. You don't even box. need a fan because the pants just yeah, move the plants themselves. Are <laughs> and shit. He's got to turn on a little. <laughs> bit. Yeah. This is my kind of dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think honestly, when it comes to lighting, I think just more efficacy. We're gonna get more and more efficient, and someone's gonna be like, "Damn, this is a two hundred watt light that's pumping like a thousand watt high pressure sodium." It's like, yep, we've gotten the technology there now. Everything gets more refined and more concentrated. And stronger. I mean, even look at like storage space. Having terabytes as a normal thing constantly is crazy. Before a terabyte was like, damn, what are you doing? And now Diddy's got it. terabytes of files they're pulling from him. <laughs> and my yeah. PC has eight terabytes. Casually. Casually. You got a terabyte on the little I'm like, yeah, yes, my CD yes. card is terabyte. It, it's science evolves and efficacy gets better. I think that's what's gonna come first before a new type of lighting. You know what I'm saying? Because Big Ag's going to get that before us and other companies and other things before our niche is going to get it. So we'll see that elsewhere before, you know, I don't know. That's my thought. I think the overall pricing is going to go down a little bit too. Like when we got GML's booth, they're, they're now got a light for a five by five space for 400 bucks. A little less than 400. So like, yeah, well, yeah, 399. Crazy. <laughs> a little, little, little less than. A little less, dollar yeah. less. That blew my Same mind, less. dude. That's, that's, that and the other side is what stopped me the most. I was like, well, what? And they're, this isn't a Chinese company. What is it? Yeah, Ooh. I have one of their lights, man. They're trying to the Borg. It's badass. So you can like set perimeters so it's like an HPS spectrum. You can like change it so much. It's unbelievable. Actually, like there's a lot of options with those lights. Yeah. That's another thing that I was going to mention is spectrum tuning. Sure, we've seen that years ago and it kind of comes back and forth uh, as far as in and out. But GML is another thing that they, they were advertising. They had all these different light spectrums, uh, and they have it, I think it was in, with like some an owner's manual or something like that, where it's showing, like, okay, you can tune it to this, you can tune to this, mm -hmm. you can tune to this, like, like specific season. ones to tune to yeah. to get different morphology out of the plant. Well, and I remember uh, Envy Closet Med Grower had like his tight little spots that he liked and others, and it's like you pick your Tempur-Pedic number. Yeah, you your sleep number, and, and you know for yeah, your plant. That's right, and maybe hey, maybe that's gonna have a tra maybe that's gonna translate to the cannabinoids, the profile of the plant. You know, Absolutely. maybe you like something that gets a little cooler in the spectrum, a little sooner, or a little warmer later, or you know, for sure. Because a lot of these full spec, like I'm, I'm talking to my ass here, but a lot of these full spectrum lights are full spectrum. They're from beginning to end, you've got the same spectrum. 
So it's kind of exciting to see that, yeah, maybe you'll be able to get, you know, the, the, the dark or the reds in th throughout the veg and your, your blues throughout flower just honed in, mm -hmm. dial it in as soon, as soon as you hit 12 and 12. That, yeah. that, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. That would be. That is yeah, the future for sure. Good. This FTS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity, leaders in garden innovation. Use discount code thestash 15 at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.